Hey girls, can you be a little quieter? I'm live, okay? I'm doing a live stream, okay? Okay, thanks, Peanuts. You're the best. Where's all my dumpster peeps? All my dumpster peeps. I should have put a notice up I was going live. I didn't even think about it. This is a last minute I'm going live dealio. I got one. Oh, God, I just dropped the knife. Almost stabbed myself in the foot. Lord, this might not have been a good idea. What's up, guys? How are you? I haven't seen you guys in so long. And I was like, you know what? While I'm cooking dinner, let's chat it up. Dumpster diving for treasures. What's happening? Hi, Mickey from England. How are you, my dear? El Paso, Texas is in the house. If I don't look at the screen for a minute, just know I'm using a knife and I don't want to lose any fingers. <laughs> that would be bad. Finland's in the house. How are you guys? So I am making my husband's favorite meal tonight, um, pork egg rolls. And I figured while I'm doing this and I can't go diving tonight because hubby's starting his midnight shift. Um, tonight, he has to work six days straight midnights, which sucks for me because I can't go diving until Kansas. Hey, guys. Are you guys all cooking dinner? Or what time is it in Finland right now? Hi, Sandy. Tara. Jennifer. You're off to bed, Beatrice. Oh, my goodness. Yes, that's late in South Africa, girl. Ah, uh, thanks. Hi, Kim. How are you? I haven't done a live with you guys in a while, and I figured, you know what? Let's do it. Let's chat it up and hope I don't lose a finger while I'm cutting. It's midnight. Oh, Beth's in the house. I didn't even tell Beth I was going live. I was going to text her, but I literally just got home from the dollar store. And I was like, while I am cooking, I might as well go live. But I figured she'd see me anyway. <laughs> um, so, Miss Beth is in the house. Ooh, Grease is in the house. Hi, Angie. Ooh, your notifications work, Beth. Awesome. All right, so I'm working on a video for you guys. I have been decorating all day today. Christmas decorating. And I don't know. Hi, Oregon. I don't know, um, I'm just like so over this year, guys. <laughs> 2020 has sucked, donkey balls. And um, we might be getting shut down again, restaurants. And if that happens, the bar restaurant I work at isn't gonna survive. So I'm like super sad about that because I'm gonna lose my job, but what can you do? So I figured I would do a different type of video today and go live and you guys could cheer me up, right? Same in Ohio, the end of the week. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure. I guess they're supposed to go, um, our governor is supposed to go on, I think at five. I don't know. I never have the news on. Sorry, I'm reading my Beth's text. <laughs> okay, Beth. <laughs> if not, you know. You're good. All right. Um, lockdown again, Julia. Where are you at, Julia? Apple pie. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. So I'm making my hubby's favorite egg rolls. I don't know what I'm going to make my kids because they won't eat these but they're probably going to get a corn dog. Michigan's closing for three weeks. Yeah, this, this is ridiculous. We'll be working from home till July. Okay. All right. I just got a text. Wolf isn't changing anything yet in P Pittsburgh. So 
thank goodness. But that doesn't mean he's not going to. Sorry, guys, I'm washing my hands. Give me a moment. In a moment, So let me just tell you guys that it looks like um, Home Goods, Joann's, Big Lots, and Santa Claus all threw up in my house right now. <laughs> You're being locked down for four weeks and if caught with more than six people at Thanksgiving, you could go to jail? What? This is, this is just ridiculous. Like I understand people need to not spread the disease and whatever, but this is the holiday season. Like that is what it is about is spending time with your dang family. I will be damned if I tell my family, sorry, I can only have six people here because I don't want to go to jail. Like that is just straight crazy. Hi, Amy. It is all political, Susan, and it is insanity. I'm about over it. I am so over it. Anyway, what are you guys uh, cooking for dinner? Anything good? Out of control, $1,500 fine. This does burn my biscuits, Christine. You know it does, girl. You know it. Um, also, I wanted to say thank you guys because we hit like, I forget, what did you say, Beth? 17,200 subs or 17,400 or something like that. I haven't checked to see. Let's see the table. Oh, yeah, you guys said, did I show you my table? Didn't I show you my table? I did show you my table. But here's my table. I'll show you. It's a mess because I'm decorating, but check it out. That's my table. Pretty cute. Oh, sneak peek of the new video. Yes, I just did that. I'm not done yet, though, guys. Like, oh, my goodness. I didn't realize how much dumpster stuff I found for Christmas. Like, a lot. The chat disappeared. People would have been abiding by the rules in your city. We wouldn't be an outrageous number of deaths now. I don't know who you're talking to, Jane, but... Um, I just, I mean, I work in the restaurant business. I'm exposed to people every day and not, not one person I know has gotten this. Not one. And I mean, I abide by all the rules. Our restaurants abided by all the rules. We do social distancing. We wash our hands. We wear masks. Like people cannot start, small businesses can't survive. If you shut them down again, we're, they're not going to survive. And that's people's livelihood. Like, that's my livelihood. That's how I make money. Like, yes, YouTube definitely helps. But, you know, my main source of income is the bar. And if I don't have that, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, thank you, Jessica. I love you, too. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> yes, Marty, come help me clean my house. <laughs> the Netherlands. Thank you, Lollington YT. Thank you, Cheryl. Thanks, Lori. Oh, Aaron. I am so sorry. I did know that. And I mean, you do you do have to be careful. You definitely have to take the precautions. But I think it should be left up to the people, especially small business owners. It should be left up to, to, the, to the people. If you want to go out and take that risk, then you have to take precautions, and these precautions need to be set up. But you shouldn't shut down small businesses because every job is essential. Every job is essential. You can't just say certain people's jobs are essential. Like, we all need money to survive. Like, right before the holidays, it's not the time to shut us down again. It just is not. You didn't even go to dumpster diving, Aaron. Oh, you said you wanted to go, too. I ate out of dumpsters and trash cans for many years when I was homeless. It is so nice now that I have a kitchen. Oh, velvet. Sorry, my big old hand's in the way, guys. What did I miss? What did Tabitha say? I found a lot of dog food that's not recalled. <gasps> yeah, Tabitha. Hi, Paula Wilder. I'm good. I love the house. Girl, I love this house. It is awesome. I mean, we definitely have so much more room now, but I am learning 
that three-story houses are not fun to clean. Let me tell you. With this old back of mine, oh no, girl. <laughs> oh no. New Hampshire, they are thinking about before you walk out of your house, wear your mask. Hi, Christina. Yeah, I mean, you definitely need to take the precautions that everybody's talking about. But at the same time, you can't, you can't tell people, sorry, can't work. Close your business. Sorry, sorry about your luck. I mean, we would be in a great depression for years. COVID is real and it's seriously scary. Yeah, it is scary. I absolutely agree. But it, I don't think our, our uh, political parties should be telling us what we can and can't do and where we can and can't go. Oh, thanks, Beth. <laughs> yeah, I definitely worked 13 and a half hours yesterday, and I feel like death, and I am not going to lie. This makeup is from yesterday. <laughs> I did a little freshen up on it, and it's good to go. All right, so now I'm going to toss in my tri-color coleslaw. Wash your hands and be respectful. That's right, girlfriend. Yeah, vir the virtual schooling. Mm -hmm. Can I get can I get a like for anybody else that's ready to lose their mind with it? <laughs> I am over it. I am not a teacher, guys. Hell to the no. And my kids, uh, they love school. They're so good at school. They pay attention to the teacher. But can I just say? They don't pay attention to me. Mm -hmm. They were sitting there punching each other earlier today. I was ready to lose my mind. Why did my husband put back a dirty bowl? This is dirty. For the love of Jesus. Somebody help me with myself. My husband's going to make me lose my dang mind. He did clean my whole house, though. Him and the girls. I worked Saturday night, of course, as always. And then I didn't get home until 11. And then... I had to go to sleep and go right back to work Sunday at 11 a.m. And I had to work until 12 a.m. And I didn't get home until a little after 12, like 12.30, I think. So um, my husband and the kids cleaned the whole entire house for me. Like... Even put the shoes all lined up nicely. Hubby cleaned the whole kitchen. I was so excited to get home and see a nice clean house. I mean, it's not clean now. <laughs> I, help, I helped with that though today. But it was clean the other day. I'm going to fry up my coleslaw mixture here with some soy sauce and some sesame seeds. And we're going to fry these bad boys up. Well, all over my sorry guys I'm not even paying attention oh my god yeah Sharon my kids are Kylie is far behind sorry I'm getting text messages Kylie is far behind in reading and Ava is a little behind in math and the whole school all kindergartners first grades and second graders are behind in those in those subjects because well you know what Oh. oh, man, I don't even want to talk about it. It burns my dang biscuits. My biscuits have been burnt. I got to move you guys. I got to get in my cabinet. Anyway, what are you guys making for dinner? Anything good tonight? I need some new ideas, guys. Like, I'm so tired of the same dang things. I make the same stuff over and over again, but my husband is like a creature of habit. Like, he only likes certain things. Yeah, exactly, Beth. Like, you, you need the classroom. You need, the girls need that structure, especially young kids. Why can't I find my sesame oil? Oh, because I know why. I didn't freaking buy any. <laughs> but I do have sesame seeds. I just need to find them. There they are. Oh, my God. I'm making a mess. All right. Remove your t-shirt. Why do I need to remove my t-shirt? <laughs> Did you ever get caught? 
Dumpster diving? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, girl. Oh yeah. I always use the excuse, oh, I'm just looking for boxes. That's usually what I say. Or I just say hi <laughs> while my trunk's full. We had barbecue ribs and a toss salad. Ooh, that sounds good. Hi, Rose Gray. I know, Debbie, I want to go diving. Dorito chicken cheese casserole. My kids and husband would probably love that, Jennifer. Um, I cannot go dumpster diving until Wednesday night, guys, and Thursday night. And I have to wait until after I get off work because hubby is working uh, midnights this week, which means I can't go out. And I have them during the day, and I have to teach them during the day. So there's that. So I got to just go after work, which sucks because I'm so tired after work. But what can you do? Greek chicken and potatoes. Yes, Erin, thank you. Send me that recipe, girl. Send it all over, sister. Um, so, yeah, I've been decorating. I've been working on a video for that. It's nothing crazy spectacular, but the girls have been wanting to decorate, and I figured... Man, I got coleslaw all over my floor. <laughs> I figured, um, why not? Because this year has sucked. So let's just decorate early and say screw it. I love the potato and cheddar ones. Homemade beans? What are you talking about? Um, homemade cheddar what? What are them things called? Um, what are those things called I'm thinking of? Oh my God, my brain. Pierogies. I just bought a big thing of pierogies today. I love pierogies. I wish I could make homemade ones, but I just ain't got the time for all that. Let me tell you. I missed some stuff. Oh, you made pierogies. Yes, those are awesome. Beef tortilla skillet. Ooh, chicken Alfredo. I made that last week, and I made my chicken Alfredo pizza. I actually made both because I made a ton of chicken of Alfredo sauce. And I like chicken Alfredo pizza. My husband likes chicken Alfredo pizza, but the girls like chicken Alfredo over noodles, so. Taco salad, ooh, Frito chili. See, I wish I could make that stuff. My husband will not eat it. He's like meat, potatoes, salad type of guy. And lots of bread. <laughs> like, literally. I, I make the same things over and over again, and I wish I could make different things, and I've tried. And he'll eat a little bit of it, but then I end up with all this leftovers because I'm Italian and I don't like to make just a little bit of something. I like to make a lot of something. And he's like, yeah, no, I don't like it, so I'm not going to eat the leftovers. <laughs> I'm like, okay, great, great. All right, so now I'm going to get um, some oil heated up, and we're going to pack these babies up and toss them in some oil. Baked potato night with different kinds of toppings. See, I would do that too, but my kids hate baked potatoes. That's what sucks when you have little kids because you got to make like kid-friendly things. And I mean, I'm just over chicken nuggets and corn dogs at this point. You're already decorated for Christmas. <laughs> I don't feel bad then, Lupe. <laughs> I don't, well, I mean, being a YouTuber too, you kind of have to do it early if you're going to do a video on it. You know what I mean? To give people like ideas and just to show them how you did decorate for Christmas on your channel because you don't want to put it up after Christmas, you know? So, I don't know. Oh, I need some more pots or pans, I mean. Where's all my pans at? For the love of Jesus. I guess I'm just going to have to cook it in here. I'll just put some oil in this pan. One pot meal tonight. Get out my dumpster, um... What's that stuff called? Oil. Where is it? Oh, see, I knew I shouldn't have organized this pantry. Now I don't know where anything's at. <laughs> Where's my dang oil? There it is. Behind the frosted flakes I got out of the dumpster. <laughs> Thank you, Josie. Thanks, Erin. I'll check it later. Salisbury steak. I love Salisbury steak, and I love meatloaf. Husband hates it. I'm serious. He's the perfect guy, except he's picky. <laughs> so picky. Like, when I first met him, I would make him all these, like, yummy Italian meals, and he's like, it's okay. It's all right. 
I'm like, oh no, I spent all day. It's not okay. It's good. <laughs> you will eat it. All right. I don't even know what time. I think he goes to work. I think he's going to be waking up soon. So I got to get my butt in here with this. I think he goes 8 to 8, 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Which, that's a crappy shift. I know that much. Especially when you have to do it six days in a row. I know I couldn't do it. Trying to do it while he sleeps with earplugs in. I could never do that. Well, I guess just being a mom, you could never do it. Dads have it easier. <laughs> they don't gotta worry. It was supposed to be with some rice and vegetables. People are buying and dying gnomes. Will you do with the girls? I don't know what you mean, buying and dying gnomes. Bye, Angie. Have a good night. Oh, Harry, you're by yourself? I'm so sorry. Honey, if you live near me, you'd be coming over here. Is it buffering? What time is it in America? It is quarter till 6 p.m. Hi, Edna. Fried potatoes with sausage. No, they didn't close it down. The governor isn't making any changes yet, but we're hearing it's supposed to come after Thanksgiving now. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. If that happens, then I guess I'm gonna have to start stripping. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Nobody wants to see this mom body naked, including myself. Times you have gotten caught. Did you ever have to put anything back? No, I have not. Um, I actually got caught at Home Goods. The manager, I thought she was gone. She wasn't. Um, and I had my car already loaded and I was leaving the dumpster and she came back and was like, excuse me, can I help you? And I was like, I have it on video. And I was like, no, can I help you? And she's like, you can't be doing that. I'm calling the police. And I was like, go ahead. I'm done. <laughs> I closed my trunk. I was like, have a great night. <laughs> Gotta love people, huh? All right, so now I gotta start stuffing these, these things. I think I'm gonna double them up. I'll make one, then one, and then I'll double the rest. These egg rolls are the bomb, though. I will say that. And then you just take some water, go like that, flip that bad boy over, and you got an egg roll. Oh, man, I cracked it. Hi, Lisa. I know, it isn't even illegal, Nikki. That's the funny thing. Um, oh, but how about this? So, you know how I go to the um, Dollar General across the street from my work? Guess what they did? They put no trespassing signs, four of them, all over the front gate. And I know why. Because I seen two guys in that dumpster one night, and they trashed it. They trashed it. There was garbage everywhere. I picked it up. And they took everything, but they trashed the whole area. So whoever's going to that dumpster besides me is trashing it and leaving a mess, and they're getting mad. So now they put no trespassing signs up. But the gates are usually open, and when the gates are open, you can't see the signs. So if the gates are open, I'm going to still stop there. <laughs> I'll take my chances. Because they usually don't destroy, so... Arkansas is in the house. The raccoon video was hilarious. Listen, rolled cabbage. Yeah, I like stuffed cabbage, but my husband won't eat it. Again, um, the raccoon video was hilarious, but I did almost poop my pants. I'm not even going to lie. That raccoon's face was literally right here. Poor Beth almost knocked her over trying to get away from the dang thing. <laughs> Oh, God, we've had some fun dumpster diving times, I will tell you, though. Me and her never have a dull night. Never. It's either I'm falling in the dumpster, I'm almost knocking her over, she's getting scared from somebody else coming out at a dumpster. <laughs> there was some guy, where were we at? When we got all the cookies, the last video, she's like, 
I can hear her in the video. And she's like, I just scared the crap out of myself. <laughs> Oh, God. We have so much fun, though. But we'll be going out Wednesday and Thursday, Beth. Don't you worry. I'm ready. I'm ready to go dumpster diving. I miss it. I don't go for, like, three days, and I'm, like, going through dumpster diving with her, old man. Oh, this one's going to be crooked. Oh, well. Crooked's better than none, right? That's right. No, eat it and like it. Wednesday and Thursday sounds good. All right. Hi, Deborah. Thank you, Deborah. How are you? Denmark is in the house. New oh, North Carolina. Hi, Sharon. Can't chat now. Busy diving. You get it, thirsty shopper. Get that dumpster stuff. All right. These bad boys are cooking. Oh, God, that oil was hot. It just burnt my finger now. Good thing it wasn't my real nail. Crispy finger. Two thumbs down on the live chat. Those two people suck. <laughs> it's probably the same lady that watches every video and then talks smack in the comments. Uh, I think her name's Melissa, honey. Is she in the chat? Because she always has something ignorant to say. Why do you watch me, girl? Stop, you weirdo. That would be the last thing I would do. Let me watch somebody I dislike and then keep commenting how much I dislike them. <laughs> Lord. What's wrong with people, man? Get a hobby, girl. Dang, people. She just wants to see your backside. Yeah, geez, geez, Crafty, you're the one that she was talking to. <laughs> I don't know why. All she does is record her ass. Hopefully my kids aren't around. Oh, God, that lady. Why are you looking at my butt? Nobody else is looking at my butt, lady, but you. You know what I mean? What up, girlfriend? What are you doing? You want to say hi to the vlog? Say hi to YouTube. Say hey. Hey, girl, hey. Did you help mommy decorate today? Yeah. Yeah, did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, yeah. don't stand too close. That's hot there. Okay. Who is the troll? I think her name's Melissa, honey. Maybe she does like my honey, Erin. <laughs> I know, right? Every time she comments or gives me a thumbs down, I'm like, you're just helping my channel. But thank you. I appreciate it. She is something, G. I'm telling you, girl. Like, when you click on her name, like her profile, it tells you, like, all the last, like, three videos she commented on. And every one is, like, something straight ignorant. <laughs> it's just like, why? I wish I had time like that. Man, what I would give to just sit on my butt and watch somebody I disliked and talk crap on them. No, I wouldn't do that, but I'm an adult, that's why. Hi, Mississippi. Hi, Sylvia. And her love just had a quiet wedding with no one but them. Oh, let me finish reading that. They taped the whole thing and got tons of pictures, but dang it, no one. That sucks, Sandy. That sucks, girlfriend. Weddings are supposed to be a time of celebrating and family and friends. That sucks. Thick spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah. Roast with potatoes. Hi, Ashley. Thank you. Hi, Arizona. You found toilet paper. An employee saw you and you had to put it back. Hi from Missouri. I removed the way of fashion. Oh, yeah. What was she saying? Something about my shirt? Or was it a he? Maybe it was a he. That's why. <laughs> Bunch of weirdos, man. Gotta love them weirdos. Oh. I love your videos and channel. Thank you, Jessica. 331 in the chat. 123 thumbs up. Smash that. Thanks, geez. Crafty. Hi from the UK. Hi, Deanna.
Your neighbor died in Denmark? That's horrible. Hi from the UK. Hot sausage. Yeah, she kept saying F you too. <laughs> you should have left her in. Maybe, maybe she was bored. She needed something to do. Those people don't realize that all they're doing is helping my channel out. Like, you, you truly need a, need a better hobby, man. I feel bad for people like that. I really do. Like, you must live a really sad life. That's, there's just no need to be like that. Like, life is way too short, man. Way too short to be such a sourpuss and, uh, you know, negative person. I mean, yeah, things suck at times, especially this year with everything going on, but I have so many things to be thankful for. My kids, my husband, my new home, my amazing subscribers, my best friend. Like, yeah, sometimes I get down, sometimes I get depressed because what's going on, but I have so many more things to be thankful for, so life is too short to be a Susan. No offense to all the Susans. Or is it a Karen? Maybe it's a Karen. I'm not down with the new lingo. How is it your state doing on quarantine? Um, so far so good, but hmm. I don't think we have logo trademark rules. We don't, I'm pretty sure. At least I don't. <laughs> if there are, I was never told about them and I don't know. There's never been anything said to me that I need to take off my um, logos on my clothing, so. I have a lot of like Nike and Victoria's Secret and stuff like that I wear. They've never said, they would have sent me an email. You need some merch. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Donna. I'm just real. I'm me, man. You want to move to PA? Let's go. It's the Karens. Thank you, Ashley. I'm not down with the lingo, man. What, what did my kids say the other day? They were like, that is so epic. <laughs> I was like, what did you just say? <laughs> so epic. They're so strange gotta love them we are all humans that's right oh no way life of maya where do you live at pa girlfriend are you close to pittsburgh diving illegal in denmark europe okay you mean diving is illegal in denmark took it and came back and said i can't be looking but told my dad a different story Oregon is closing for four months. Oh, epic is the new buzzword. <laughs> so epic. Oh my God, this is so good. You guys gotta make this. Hi, Brenda. Michigan. Can you say my name? Hi, Maya. Erie, PA. I'll come visit. That's right, Sharon. What am I making? Um, pork and coleslaw, like um, tri-colored coleslaw mix. I like fry it up with, uh, what's that stuff called? Soy sauce and then fry them in these little wraps so you get egg roll wrappers. They're so good. I know, Erin, because you didn't... Wait, did you come yet? I thought you didn't even come. I thought you said you were going to come, and then you didn't. Maybe that was somebody else. Hi, British Columbia, Canada. Is your name Shannon, too? Ha! Good name, Shannon. <laughs> Can you please tell your kids Maya said, hey, please? I will do that, Maya. Girls! Can you say hi to Miss Maya? Hi. Hi. I said hi. <laughs> Where did I put my thing? Hi. You're going to wave. Thank you, baby. You're so nice. 
such a kind-hearted soul you are. I gotta turn this oil up, man. These things ain't cooking fast enough. Crank this heat up. I'm still getting used to this electric stove, guys. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. If I had my choice, I would take gas any day. I'm not digging it. Yep. Yep. Um, oh no, this isn't a penny pan. Sorry. Um, what did I get that was... Oh, my... Um, what's this thing called? <clears throat> Oops. I got this out of the Aldi dumpster. My... What's this thing called? Dutch oven. Couldn't think of the name. Shocking. <laughs> um... Man, this stuff is so good. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Hi, JJ Sparkles. Montana. Ooh, Erica. I'm going to try that. Making breakfast ones. That would be a good idea. I will down those, man. These things are so good. Kylie will probably eat one, but I know Ava won't. Why did I get the fullest plate ever? I don't know. All right, let's put these egg rolls in here. So, let's see. Oh, do you guys remember a while ago? Beth, you'll remember this. I had a lady that was like, I'm getting you kicked off of YouTube. <laughs> Because she was being rude in the comments and like somebody like threatened to smack her or something and she was like, oh, I'm turning you in and I'm getting you kicked off of YouTube. You know, she tried to, um, I had to block her again. She went on a third name now. Oh, thanks, Jessica. Hi, Felicia. Apollo PA. Nova Scotia, it's raining. It's cold here. Aw, oh, thanks, E Dreams. So, one day I want to try make an egg roll in a bowl with like ground beef, but I don't know if my husband would eat that. I would, but I don't know if he would. Girls, what do you want for dinner? Um, Would you like a corn dog? Um, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Figured, corn dogs for the kids. River, Kentucky, it's cold here. So mean to you, Shannon, you're so loving and caring. Thank you. I had another lady flip it out on me in the comments in my last video. I don't understand why you wouldn't take all those cookies to the pantry, the free pantry. Well, first of all, the free pantry is this big. I am not allowed to just straight donate to it anymore. They put a big notice on it and it says I have to take it to either the Chamber of Commerce, which is right down the road, or the s &T Bank or a restaurant called Brandy's, which they're all right next to each other. But I liked to just drop stuff off because I would always have huge bags of stuff and then I would put free on it, please help yourself. I'm not allowed to do that anymore. So now I have to take all my stuff and I take it to the Chamber of Commerce and um, I can't take tons and tons of stuff in there. Um, I had like a ton of boxes and she's like, we don't have much room so please just try and bring in a few bags at a time. So I can't even donate a ton of stuff if I wanted to now, which sucks, but what can I do? I can only do so much, and I'm only one person. Like, I donate to a ton of causes, and I like to donate because it makes me happy. I don't personally care if other people think it's great. I'm doing it for me and to help other people and the organizations that I donate to, but like, some of the people are just so rude. Like, why didn't you take that? You should have taken all those apples. 
well, you know where I'm diving at. You come take all the apples and you donate it and drive it all over God's creation then. Since you have so much time. <laughs> like, I donate as much as I can. I, I'm only one person. Like, I do what I can. And I'm not saying I'm the best at, at donating. I'm sure I could do more. But, you know, I'm also a mom and I have a job. And I just, I do what I can. That, that's all I can do. And if people don't like that, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just being honest. Like, I can only do what I can do. I'm also being a teacher and Betty Homemaker, cooking dinner. <laughs> and corn dogs ain't done. Oh, thanks, JJ. I got it from Target. Isabel, thank you. I do more than most people. I don't think I do more than most people, but I mean, I try. And like, I'm not like in the inner city. So there's not like homeless shelters or battered women shelters. Like I'm not anywhere near Pittsburgh. I'm like 40 minutes away. If I wanted to find those places, I'd have to go to downtown. And I don't live anywhere near there. So I just can't do that. If I lived closer, absolutely, I would donate to those. But I, I just don't. So I do what I can do, man. Hey, Karen. Oh, no, no, E Dreams, you're fine. It wasn't you, girl. I had a ton of other people that just were asking, and I just replied back. But I had one lady, like, so I think it was that Melissa Honey, actually. I'm pretty sure it was her. And I think I said, why are you even watching this video? You don't like me. <laughs> Lord in heaven. <coughs> Girls, your corn dogs are done. <clears throat> Do you want ketchup? Yeah, no. <coughs> oh my God, I'm choking on a pork chop. All right, what do you want with them? Um, yogurt, applesauce. Hello, I'm speaking to you two. Apple, yogurt, yogurt. Cotton candy or strawberry? making a gourmet meal they want a hot dog on a stick oh thank you Sharon I try I mean like I said I'm not perfect nobody's perfect but I, I like to try and do what I can I'm passionate about no-kill shelters I think what they do is amazing and I want to uh, I want to donate to places that I think do great things like Beverly's birthdays what those ladies do there is absolutely amazing and it's just a, a regular mom that started it. And she's absolutely wonderful. And she does her best too. And it's like, she couldn't take the costume. She's like, I'm so sorry. I wish I could take them, Shannon, but I don't have the room. I'm like, girl, you don't gotta apologize. It's quite all right. I know all about that. <laughs> Turn that down, please. Mommy's go on live, honey. All right. Who was the viewer that said, have peach crush pop? I want to try it so bad. <gasps> peach crush? Yes. I would like to know where they have that at. Oh, that's right, E Dreams. She does rock. It's my bestie. Breakfast for dinner is awesome. I would have to agree with that. Yes, I would. I do love breakfast for dinner. Look at these egg rolls, guys. They're so bomb looking. Yuck! That's my dinner right there. I'm gonna stuff my face so I talk to you and then I'm gonna finish my video when I'm done with this live. And hopefully I'll have it up for you guys tomorrow. 
peach and various other flavors. Thank you, Sammy. They are bomb. Look at that, man. Thanks, Sharon. I wish I had um sesame oil, though. Thank you, Shatika. Oh, no. Double D emailed me, though. And he was like, hey, I just want to let you know. Thank you for telling me about Spirit. He's like, I just got a huge haul. I'm going live now. And I was like, oh, man, I'm at work. I'll watch it later. But I haven't had a chance. I know. Irva, he said he's going to come see us. How cool would that be for him to come and dive with us? That would be awesome, man. Mm, Alma, I don't know because I have so many boxes left. And I even had other people emailing me and asking them about them. I had one lady ask me to hold it for four weeks. Now she won't answer my email. And I kept holding this box for her. So I'm just so angry about it. And then I had somebody else ask me to hold a box for him. And I understand things happen. She had something come up. But I have so much stuff in my hubby. Oh, he's so tired. He's so cute. Um, I had, you know, things come up and people can't afford it. And I totally get it. I, I do. But everybody says hi, baby. Um, you know, I have 8 million boxes upstairs now. And everyone's flinging food everywhere. And everyone was like, oh, I'll take one. I'll take one. And then I email them and then they don't answer me back. I don't know if I'm going to do a live sale again, honestly. I'm so angry about the last one. I had one lady buy two boxes, two $60 boxes, and then never email me back. <laughs> like, why do that? <clears throat> why try and take two if you know you don't even want one? I know, Christine, you did swipe an egg roll. Babe, do you need me to make your lunch? Do you want um, egg rolls? Do you want to take some egg rolls? Okay. <laughs> He's so cute. No, I haven't tried the Dr. Pepper cream soda. Beth likes it. I don't know if I'll like it. dinner i mean lunch london uk see <clears throat> i like regular dr pepper but <clears throat> i really wish they would bring back the dr pepper dark berry man oh, i am so mad they're not gonna bring that back i even talked to uh, some dr pepper like coca-cola workers that came into my work <laughs> i was like are you guys gonna ever bring that back they're like, nope. I was like, oh man. I'm sad. Did you girls get a juice box? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, what flavor would you like, Miss Ava? You want orange? You want an orange one? Okay. Oh, Fanta Orange is the bomb. I have so much dumpster Fanta orange in my fridge downstairs. <laughs> so I took all those cookies that I got, guys, and I took them to my coworkers. You should have seen their faces. Oh, my goodness. They were so excited. They're like, are you sure we can have all these? I was like, yeah, man, help yourself. 
And then I found that heated blanket. I think, Beth, where did we find that at? Wasn't that Ollie's? And it said it didn't work. He said it works perfect. And he was so happy to have it. He's like, his house is always cold, he says. So, yeah, Ollie's. Okay, I thought so. Oh, I'm not telling you the exciting news yet, guys. You have to wait. You have to wait. Can't tell you yet. What else would you like, Ben? You want the sour cream and onion chips I bought? All right. The exciting news will come soon. Don't worry. I will share it with you guys. Is three egg rolls enough? Okay, good answer. <laughs> good talk. He didn't even answer me. It's super exciting news. No, I'm not having a baby. Good Lord, I'm just fat. babies i'm done with the babies guys i'm having twins i already had twins i don't want no mo <laughs> i love my twins but i don't want any more of them no thank you no it's definitely not a baby it's not a house it's not a new car even though i am getting a new car soon it's not new it'll be used but new to me <laughs> we don't buy brand new cars we don't believe in buying brand new cars, but it's going to be awesome. Don't worry. You guys will find out on the 20, let's see, the 21st is when we get the surprise, but I don't know. I'm not saying. <laughs> some of you guys probably already know. Looks like some people have guessed it. But what kind? And what does it look like? Oh my God, I have so much food on my floor. Mm. All right, babe, do you want a banana? Yeah. Okay. Well, he's upstairs, that's okay. He'll come down. I'll put whatever else he wants when he comes downstairs. <laughs> I will, I will say to those in my live chat, you have guessed it correctly, but don't tell everybody. What do you say? What'd you say? He, want a banana. he wants a banana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The twins have no idea. So. That's right. You guys have early access. <laughs> um, they have no idea. So, no idea. We have to keep it hush hush for the peanuts. <laughs> um, the 21st. <laughs> he dreams. <laughs> Oh my God, I know. How about them Steelers, guys? That game, I didn't even really get to watch it yesterday because I was at work, but it was a good game. We've been playing really good lately. Mm, not gonna tell you the kind. That's a secret. I will say, sorry I'm chewing in your face, guys. Um, I will say though, we searched for this specific breed at shelters, couldn't find one. So it's not a, it's not a shelter dog. So I'm sure I'll get hate for that, but it's what my girls have been asking for. So Randall, your wife is correct. What color are your, um, it's not nail polish. These are acrylic. As some guy said, my nails are as fake as I am. <laughs> Some weird guy commented and said, those nails are as fake as she is. <laughs> like he knows me. 
weirdo. And when did I ever say my nails were real? I can't grow nails like this, man. I wish I could. Beth can. Have y'all ever did TikTok? No, um, I had to take my girls off of that because they learned some very bad words from TikTok. And when I seen what they were watching, I deleted that app real quick. <laughs> You're trying to talk my husband into getting a job? <laughs> what? Oh, pits are awesome. My, my stepdad had a pit boxer mix and he was the sweetest dog ever. It's all how you train them. Chihuahuas can be a-holes, just like pit bulls can. It depends on how you train them. I love to train dogs. I did that in my spare time, so. Yeah, exactly, Beth. Way too smart. Mmm. We never found a black pumpkin. We don't have a Kirkland's anywhere near us, so that wasn't us. They are the best, Sharon. They're so sweet. They're such sweet dogs. Every dog is sweet, as long as you train them to be sweet. That's all. Yeah, I've never, <clears throat> I've actually had a German Shepherd attack me and bite me in my ear. And <clears throat> I'm more scared of those dogs than a pit bull. <clears throat> they are the best. Oh, best dog is so cute, guys. Oh, my God. She's so huge, though. She's literally the size of me. Like, if I went down on all fours, that, that's how big her dog is. But she is so sweet. Oh, my goodness, Judith. You have three of them. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, JJ. Dogs, yes. People, no. Amen to that. <clears throat> Beth has a dogo. <clears throat> it's beautiful. An Argentina? Is that what it is? Argentina dojo? Or dogo? Spoon this time. Oh, that sucks. Hubby's allergic. A roach? <laughs> what? England's in the house. Hi, Maria. Yeah, you're going to have to make those egg rolls low, though. Girl, they're good. You don't even know. <clears throat> I'm super excited that you guys all came in the live, though. 470 of y'all. I missed you guys. I haven't chatted with you in forever, man. I need to start doing this more often. And it's easy to do when I'm cooking dinner because I'm stuck in this room so I can actually chat with you. <laughs> All right. Here's your egg rolls, peanut butter and jelly, banana chips, chocolate covered pretzels. And I actually remembered to buy him Tootsie Rolls. Yes, I did. Some of those. Full of egg or egg rolls, Tootsie rolls, I mean. Yeah, it's all white. I love my new kitchen, Donna. Oh, girl. But I have noticed since I have so much more room, I make so much bigger of a mess. <laughs> because I have so much more room, I just throw stuff everywhere. <clears throat> Detroit, Michigan. Hi, Michelle. Rising Sun, Ohio. Oh, thank you, Julie. I'm glad you made it too. Where do I work? I am a bartender. I work at a bar slash restaurant. Not disclosing the name of it. 
<laughs> Thanks, E Dreams. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to say goodbye to my husband because he's going to work. Thanks, Tammy. Not telling you, JJ Sparkles. Top secret business there. I'm not disclosing the name of my restaurant bar. Just because safety precautions. Because I have a lot of people that hate me. <laughs> As they've made it clear on YouTube. In the comments. And I don't want them to come to my work and try and hurt me. Thanks, Mary. All right, guys. I'm going to clean up this hot mess of a kitchen and give my hubby a kiss and hug goodbye. And then I'm going to start editing my decorating video. So hopefully I'll have it up for you guys tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Bye, Kathleen. Bye, Lynn. Bye, Jeanette. I'll come to Tennessee, girl. Bye, AJ. Good night, Sammy. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I cook dinner, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.